All right, I'm back. Part number 11 of Journey. Same day. Just stopped the first video, video a little bit after an hour. Try not to make them too long. Um, I went ahead and soldered all my connections on to the joystick and buttons. Um, this really only takes about 10, 15 minutes to do. Um, I think it's a much better option than putting those slide on terminals on because especially with these older ones, they just don't tend to hold. They will slide back off on you. So now let me get the, let's get the latches on the cabinet so we can at least put the control panel in place. Um, I got the latches down there on the floor. I got to grab the two plates. These are the two plates that the control panel rests against. And I think they go this way. And then the latches screw through those. Once again, same screws as all the other ones. Um, this will be the last video for today. Um, hopefully this weekend I can wrap this up. We'll see how it goes. I got these on backwards, I think. Yep. Trying to get this done so I can get started on the tapper. screws per side. couple more screws. latch Okay, for now we're just going to put the control panel on the cabinet to get out of the way. We'll just latch the two sides for now. 
All right. It's starting to look like a journey. We'll swing around back real quick and uh, we will get this power supply put in just to get it out of the way. Okay, let's put this in place. Lining up the old holes. that's in yes it's on an angle that's how it was originally mounted let's get the lower tape deck mount in i'm not going to put the upper ones in until i put the tape deck in here i still haven't uh used a computer to put the music onto the tape yet Tighten these up. Don't want to over tighten it with the particle board.
right, that's in. I'm gonna go uh, see what extra brackets I have. Let's see if we can get the old power supply mounted on that on the other side. So let me go uh, see what I can find for brackets. Okay, I think I found what I needed. Um, if you remember when we took this game apart, not all these brackets were here for the power supply. There was only like one. So I did find a couple other ones. I think they were from an old Pac-Man or something like that that got parted out years ago. But I'm pretty sure I know how this goes. I could be wrong. It looks like everything lines up. All right, I messed with it for a little bit. This is uh, basically what I came up with on how I think it was mounted. Um, I'm not positive. It's just what I'm going off of. Um, soundboard goes above it. I'm going to say it probably goes this direction. I'm not sure again. But it kind of makes sense to have that ground strap in the back maybe. I'll mount it that way. If i got to spin it around, I can. missing one of the plastic grommets in this hole but we'll still put the screw in there just leave it a little loose I'm guessing that's the direction it goes by the way the writing is written so we'll see um, next let's go up front and we'll put in the um, coin box all that stuff all right, we'll get the inside piece in here. These are those flat carriage bolts. I just painted them with the satin black.
tight. Just drop this in there for now. Um, I don't have a lid for it currently. I'll have to look around, but I don't think I have one for it. So that's done. I think now we'll just probably put on the side art and that'll be it for this video because I got to get cleaned up and let me get you set up here. All right, now we're going to apply the side art. I want to at least get that done today and I'll probably just put the screen bezel on there just so it looks uh, complete. But um, according to John's Arcade and Arcade Jason, it's three and a half inches down from the top and about an inch and a half from the back. So we're just gonna do that, get it as close to that as we can. I'll show you how I do it. I just, um, I'll put some tape on the cabinet. We'll get it measured up here real quick. See which side this is. Tape measure. All right, we're going to measure down three and a half from the top. I'm going to make a dot of tape. I'm going to go down three and a half. Three and a half up here. From here to here, bottom of the tape is three and a half. Then we're gonna do the same on the back, inch and a half. Which I think this tape might be inch and a half. Nope. Inch and a half and then an inch and a half. Let's see how it lines up. Now there's a white line, which is the paper. So we have to compensate for that. <coughs> so we're gonna kind of eyeball it. And you can see how it's a little crooked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten it out here. Really more concerned with the top measurement. pretty good there. Kind of hold it here for a second. Remeasure. Exactly three and a half within a 30 second. Hair over one and a half, hair over one and a half. We're good there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a piece of tape all the way across. Take off these pieces. Let that top fall down. We'll peel it back halfway. Down to the tape, close to it. Paper. Make sure your knife doesn't drag against the cabinet. And we'll just start working our way up. Don't put a lot of pressure on it, just kind of let it relax. Okay, 
to the bottom now. Just take the tape off of here. You can save the tape for the other side. Now what we're going to do is just fill the bottom. I'm just going to let it relax down and just work it down. I don't use water or soap or any of that stuff. I just put it on dry. To me, I think it turns out better. You don't have air bubbles. That's it. I'm gonna go on and do the other side off camera and I'll be back. All right, other side's installed. I'm gonna spin the cabinet around and we'll put the front screen bezel on for now. that now it just needs t-molding and the wiring and monitor and stuff put in and we should be good to go um just printed this up for the uh tape player That goes on this bracket right here. Just stick that on real quick. All right, that wraps it up for today. That's all the time I have. Um, next time we work on the journey, we'll do the wiring. Um, we will get the monitor hooked up. I'll probably just put it on a chair next to the cabinet. We'll see if we can get that to work or not. I don't know if that monitor works or not. Um, hopefully we'll get the game working and wired up and finish that off. Um, and then I'll make a video of the clips that it took to put this uh, bar and bathroom together. I just have a bunch of series of photos that I'll just put in a slideshow for you guys to see. And then um, I'll do a tour of the basement. Hopefully this weekend I'll get to that. And then I'm gonna be working on that 59 Impala this weekend. Uh, I plan on doing some work on the trunk floor and probably the floor pans, and we'll see what else I get into. Um, I do have a lot of videos coming, so hopefully you guys stay tuned. Once again, if you like it, please like and subscribe. Have a good night, have a good evening.